What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at another demo today and this one is available for free right now on Steam. You can jump in and check out the demo yourself. This is Road Defense Outsiders from Mini Cactus Games. Now this one is going to combine uh, tower defense elements with an action roguelite all wrapped into a very retro pixel graphics look. Uh, the game feels very, very arcadey. Uh, if you like arcade style games, this one is one you're going to want to check out and keep an eye on. Now, as you would imagine, Road Defense Outsiders is all about defending the road. Uh, let's hop on in and check out around. We'll go into the very first village here, the Badlands. And as you see, there is some permanent progression in the game. So as you play, you're going to unlock these skulls. Uh, before you go into a map, you're going to be able to spend your skulls in a particular department. Uh, as you see, I dumped everything I could into fire rate, and then I went into armor, and then also I upped my starting money. Uh, of course, there will be more things available to spec into as the full version comes out. However, this is what is available right now in the demo. Now, if we take a look at the map, this is the road we need to defend. Now, this is the very first map, of course. Uh, the road is not very long, and as the vehicles come in, all they have to do is make it to the end of the road. Now, as you see here, we do have various tower building points. We're going to go ahead and throw in uh, AK-47 um, in that particular tower with our starting money. And then let's go up to one over here and we'll do the same thing. Uh, currently, there's only two different gunners available for your towers, um, a, a pistol and an AK-47. Uh, there is an MP5, an SKS, a shotgun, a rifle, uh, a neutron bomb, and then flamethrowers, which will all be available in future versions of the game or in the full version of the game. Uh, but for right now, we are going to just go hot and heavy with the AK. Now, to start each vehicle rolling in, each vehicle is going to be its own individual wave. Uh, you're going to have to get 10 vehicles down the map to survive or complete this map. Uh, each vehicle, you're going to escort across one at a time. And of course, it's going to progressively get more difficult. You've got your little starting tent right here. We are going to go ahead and start off there. And uh, we are going to just blast away. Now, of course, I went into um, the fire rate. Yeah, now, who doesn't want to shoot faster, right? So uh, we got the pews going on here. Now, you've got two different objectives. You can complete the map if a vehicle fails. You're allowed a certain amount of failures. However, if you die, it is game over. So you want to make sure to pay attention to yourself and not get wrecked. So what do we got? We got speed, um, armor. Let's go ahead and take the armor, reduce the damage uh, done here. Uh, of course, the first vehicle, relatively easy. And now we need to collect up our reward. So we got 800 to spend, and that will be enough for another AK in one of these towers. Now, as you can see, you can upgrade your weapons as well. We will be doing that, assuming we survive long enough. Uh, however, I do want to get a gunner in each of these towers first. So let's go ahead and get this next vehicle escorting. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, it's going to get progressively harder. Uh, with the full uh, fire rate unlocked, the very first uh, vehicle is basically going to be a freebie. Uh, one thing you will know or find out really, really quickly is you are quite squishy. Your vehicle is actually a lot tougher than you are, at least on these starting vehicles. So if it's a decision of you taking a shot or your vehicle taking a shot, let the vehicle take the shot. All it's got to do is survive till the end of the run. Now, once it gets there, you will have to clear everything uh, before that particular wave is done. Once you clear all the enemies, all the XP laying around on the map will just come. It will vacuum cleaner over to you. So you'll know all the enemies are dead when all that XP just starts flowing over. Okay, so we got run speed, we got more health, um, increase the armor, let's increase the armor again, or you know what, let's just go ahead and take a raw health increase, so let's go ahead and snag that, get our uh, maximum health up a little bit more, uh, we're up to 700, which will allow us to put an AK in our final tower here, so let's go ahead and slap one down right here, and we now have all of our towers armed, and 
we should be able to get a little bit of help out of these towers from the enemies. Now, as you get more and more enemies on the map, of course, you want to use the towers. So, you know, make sure you're going to you're bringing the enemies over to within tower range. That way your towers can put in some work. Now, remember, if you run in front of your vehicle, you're going to stop it. So you don't want to block your vehicle. You want to let it keep going. Uh, as the name of the game is to defend this road and just let the vehicle get to the end of it. Uh, once it gets to the end, of course, we are GG's, and we can just go ahead and clear out the rest of the pack here. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got quite a few bads over here. The AK is putting in a little work. And there we go. So let's see. 100% um, vitality? Now, is that a heal? That's a heal, I feel like. I'm going to go ahead and snag it anyway, just because I'm unsure on that one. If that one was a heal or if that was actually increasing my uh, my overall health. Now, I'm up to 600 money here. If we take a look uh, to upgrade, we're going to need 900. So, I can't get an upgrade in on this round. Uh, however, we can get another one started. So, vehicle number four incoming. Uh, of course, we need to get 10 of them down to be able to move on to the next map. Let's go ahead and blaze it up a little bit here. Starting to get a little bit more abundant. Still not completely overwhelming. Um, as you would expect in an action roguelike, it's going to get pretty overwhelming. So that is definitely going to happen. Let's see, bullet shot damage. Let's just increase our run speed here. I think bullet shot damage is probably what I'm going to want to go into next. Enemies are not dying from one shot anymore here. Grab our cash money. And let's blaze the rest of these fools up. And there we go. So now I'm up to 1100. So I do have enough to upgrade a tower. Let's see. Let's increase our shot damage next. And let's go ahead and upgrade the AK. So you see the range goes up considerably. Um, additionally, I think the amount of shots fired may go up as well. Yeah, the shots fired go up also. So we get range, damage, and fire rate. So good stuff there. Let's go ahead and get that one flying. This one is vehicle number six. And you see, I'm about what? I'm at like 75% health or so. Of course, the top bar is my fire rate. Um, of course, I've got my fire rate all jacked up, so it's just flying off. My bottom bar is my health, so definitely need to watch the health. Uh, we got our vehicle safely to the end of the road. However, we got lots of baddies to burn off. Oh, man, and they are just firing some shots into my face. We're going to have to take um, some, sort of, uh, some sort of heal here if it gives it to us. Bandage. Let's do it. Give us a little bump in uh, health there. Quite a few uh, leftovers on this one. All right, was that all of them? Nope, not yet. And there we go. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, once the XP starts just rushing towards you, you know that you are uh, you are set. Let's go ahead and take another armor, see if we can't uh, survive through this one. Uh, let's see, did we already upgrade this one? We have not, so let's go ahead and upgrade this AK as well. Uh, get that one all good and jacked up. So we got two of them upgraded now, I think. Yeah, right now in the uh, demo, you can only upgrade them once. And uh, let's get vehicle number seven started. Oh, we got a shielded enemy rolling in. We're going to want to keep an eye out for that guy. A little bit more of a bullet sponge there. Oh man, my vehicle's getting tore up, huh? Of course, uh, as we progress... Oh wow, I'm getting tore up too. As we progress, uh, our vehicles are going to be taking a lot more damage just because the enemies are doing so much more damage as well. We got the vehicle out safely, but I think I am in deep, deep trouble here. And uh, these guys are not very forgiving. Uh, lots of bullets flying my way, that is for sure. Oh no. 
And sadly, we've got the GGs there. Vehicle number seven was as far as I could make it. Now you see I earned 424 skulls here. So this will allow me to spec in a little bit further here. And, you know, I kind of feel like I need uh, maybe a little bit more armor. Let's go ahead and get our armor jacked up. And then um, we'll split the rest. Actually, can I go more into starting money? Oh, I can. So you can get that starting money really jacked up there. Now we're going to be starting at 3000 on our next attempt. So not too shabby there. But that is a quick look at Road Defense Outsiders. It's kind of fun, y'all. It's kind of fun. It's got that pixel graphics, certainly an arcade style uh, retro feel to it, without a doubt. Uh, however, it's got the gameplay, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. I'd like to see more weapons, more upgrades for me personally, and then, you know, of course, just getting some of these other uh, gunners and the towers unlocked in the full version of the game. And here we go, actually, as I was loading out of the game, I see in the full version there will be skills. So skills are planned on coming into the game. Uh, some cool looking stuff here. We'll have to see what all these means. Lots of different weapons and then, of course, all of the maps. But that will do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.